Okay, here we'll get to guide you on how uh, we get to connect the, the device to the software. Basically, our time and attendance uh, software is known as uh, Biotime 8.0. This is the Biotime which is uh, from our region and it's the one which we are able to give support. So the first thing you have to make sure uh, is that uh, <clears throat> you have your your device you you will go to the on the device when you press the menu button you will go to the communication settings so first of all when we when we go to the device menu under communication on the ethernet you have to make sure that the IP on the device is on the same subnet as where you have hosted your biotech software. Uh, if they are not on the same subnet, you will have an issue getting to get the device to communicate with the software. Here is a simple way of whereby you can be able to, to register a user on the device when you click on the on the menu, uh, you go to user man manager. Uh, <clears throat> you can be able after the user manager, you click on a new user. Uh, you can assign a user ID manually, and the user ID can be up to nine numerics uh, long. You can also give the user a name, and the <clears throat> you can give the user a role. The user can be an enroller, or maybe a normal user, or maybe an administrator. You can also be able to use the verification mode you, the, the, the user will use. It can be by password, it can be by fingerprint, it can also be by face. This all depends uh, with, the, with the device that you have. You know not all devices get to support face, not all devices get to support fingerprints and not all devices <coughs> can support password. So it all depends with the kind of device you have. As I had mentioned earlier, here we have the, the cloud server settings. What we mean by cloud server settings, uh, we basically call it the ADMS. To check whether your device has ADMS, you just click on the communication menu. Under the communication, uh, you'll be able to see Ethernet and cloud server settings. Uh, and under the cloud server settings, we have the server address and we have the, the server port. The server address is whereby now you, you will input the IP of the server machine, which is hosting the Biotain software. And on the server port, you will get to choose the port which you will use for the communication between the, the device and the, and the software. Okay, in most cases you can find yourself that uh, you have a device that uh, does not have ADMS. Uh, so, in most cases, you are able to request for ADMS from the from our local distributors, and they will be able to give you an ADMS file, or they can assist you. ZK Taco. We focus in biometric.